Hello, welcome to the MMA Freak Fire of the Week. I'm Matt Salzer. So, um, for UFC Fight Night, uh, Barboza versus Lee, I chose... I decided to go with... Um, uh, I'm, I'm going to go with uh, CR... Bob, I think that's... Pronounced Bahazur, uh, Bahadur Zada. He's, well, he's Afghan either way. So um, he did a spectacular body kick and then knockout. So that's that's beyond anything else normally. So um, he gets that. And I'm talking about the fight card overall due to some... Uh, reshuffling, weights being lost, stuff like that. Um, he had a slightly smaller than normal uh, fight card. But anyways, um, Kevin Lee dominated uh, Edson Barboza until the third round when it was it was a doctor stoppage called. Um, there was one point, I think it was in the third round, when Barboza actually kicked Kevin Lee. And you could tell if he was just... He was all over the place. He was literally like unsteady feet, and then um, unfortunately he failed to capitalize on it. But um, Kevin Lee went through. Unfortunately, he didn't make weight, so he got that that traditional penalty. So, and this is the second time he's had trouble making weight. So the question there is: Is this eventually going to affect him to the point where he's going to have to um, uh, realistically? Go into uh, maybe go up a weight class, but anyways, um, then you also had Frankie Edgar Cub Swanson, where um, Edgar was able to control Swanson for the whole fight. Um, Justin Willis versus Chase Sherman, that was also a good fight. Um, then you had the Dave Branch knockout, again, pretty good. Um, Aljamain Sterling versus Brett Rogers. They went the whole, you know, they went the whole fight there. Dan Hooker knocked out um, Jim Miller. I think Jim Miller maybe needs to consider calling it a career because he he's. I don't think he's going to beat anyone to become lightweight champion. It's just it's so realistically he it, he probably needs to call it a career there. Then you had Ryan LaFerre versus Alex Garcia going in the prelims. They went the whole three rounds. And then what was deemed the fight of the night, because Dave Branch was one of the performance of the night. Fight of the night um, was Ricky Simone versus Marab. And Marab had the fight, and then he got... I, I'm still... This, this, to me, is still kind of... Um, I really, it's like I really have to question the the rep, the officials call. Um, th this is one of those times where it's like you know it went to the end of the round. If you don't call, it, if you don't call it before the end of the fight, the literal end of the fight, it should be. It should go to the judges' scorecards. It's like they could give them that round, but it really should go to the judges' scorecards. It's just, I, it's just, it's, I, I, I don't think that was a good call by the, the, the official. I just, I just, I don't. It's like you know, I, I keep watching it. Um, I think Marab had some sort of consciousness there, and I just I can't agree with I just can't agree with the, that decision. I just can't. It's just it just does not make sense. But anyways, um, then the CR um, uh, knockout, and then Corey Anderson, and something unfortunate that resulted from this whole thing. Um, Aspen Lad came in overweight. Um, Leslie Smith, who had the right to, perfect right to, refuse the fight. Um, and it's almost like they punished her for refusing the fight and they released her from the promotion. And I'm just like, I mean, come on. It's, it's, it's a, you're, you're punishing her for not taking the fight. She had the perfect, it's, she, she has the right 
to if she may she may wait. She has the perfect right to refuse to fight a fighter who does not make weight. That's her right. Like like I I th this to me is just it's I'm I'm kind of baffled by this. She's gone and had some good fights in the UFC. She was on a two fight winning streak. It just does not make sense that they would do that. Though I can only see this as punishment. This is bad. This 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 was them punishing her for not taking the fight. It's just I just I don't agree with this. And then of course they showed her uh, they paid her the show money to sh uh, you know essentially to shut her up, um, show and win money. And then it's this this is just a lot of the stuff that the UFC does even now under the. WMEIMG era, it just doesn't make sense. But anyways, so yeah, that was the fight of the week, and then that was also, um, in a nutshell, the the UFC fight night. So next, we're gonna get to see uh, the Bellator event and um, basically see what happens between. Uh, two over-the-hill heavyweights who arguably at times were the top heavyweights in the world. So, that's it. Be sure to like, share, subscribe. At Matthew Soldier is my Twitter handle. At MA Freak is the MA Freak Twitter handle. MA-Freak.com for exclusive content. I'm Matt Soldier. I'll see you next time.